Link seals install in up to 75% less time when compared to hand-fitted flashings, mastics, caulk, grout, or casing boots. They're conveniently packaged and ready for installation right out of the box. The belt is removed and pre-loaded by checking to make sure each bolt and nut is engaged and tightened just enough to give the belt some stability. The first and last links are connected and the belt is wrapped around the pipe. Sometimes the installer may notice extra slack in the belt. In other words, it may appear as though there's too many links for the installation. Tightening or pre-loading the belt will eventually remove this slack to allow easy belt insertion. The belt is positioned in the annular space between the pipe and wall. Some angular misalignment and eccentricity may be allowed by using link seal. Pipes that are slightly off-center or installations where some axial misalignment exists between pipe and wall are sealed even though they are not perfectly centered. The installer begins the tightening sequence at 12 o'clock and proceeds clockwise moving around the seal tightening each bolt two or three turns at each pass. Depending upon clearance, from one to four passes around the seal may be required, tightening each bolt two to three complete turns. As the tightening sequence proceeds, the installer closely watches the rubber links. When they start to pucker or bulge between the pressure plates, the installation is complete. Note that no torque wrench is required for installation. The success of any link seal installation depends on good planning, precise measurements, accurate sizing when ordering, and using correct installation techniques. The system is the solution. When you use Link Seal in combination with Century Line sleeves or cell cast discs, you're guaranteed a perfect match for sealing pipe penetrations through poured walls, floors, or ceilings.